A Nigerian-born and trained physician, Dr. Stella Emanuel, is trending in social media after delivering an impassioned COVID-19 speech in the U.S. on Monday. Speaking at a news conference in Washington, Emanuel claimed that anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine, zinc and antibacterial drug Zitromax were effective cures for the virus. The Nigerian spoke during a news conference held by a group of American doctors under the aegis of American's frontline doctors in front of the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Joining us now is Ada Njamanze, public relations consultant. A pleasure to have you join us on the news. Please, just to get you, things thank started. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Tell us about your thinking on the removal of the different handles, uh, the video from different handles, the video of Dr. Stella? Um, I think it's actually a right call to uh, take down some of these videos because of misinformation. Uh, since we got into the pandemic um, era, basically, we've had a lot of false information circulating, and that false information has had a bit of impact. So if you remember when uh, we had the issue of um, uh, the, pre the U.S. president speaking on the use of um, chloroquine, and you had a lot of people rushing to the pharmacies to go get uh, their own and take at their own risk. So I think it, it's actually smart for the social media platforms uh, to take down the video to so more information or to studies are carried out. Uh how do you think the video infringe on the rules of cyberspace and possibly run us through the rules guiding usage? So, you know, in March 2020, uh, so social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook unrolled a misinformation plus, uh, uh, policy um, guiding COVID-19. And on this, uh, some of the uh, statements on the guidelines says that if misinformation, which could cause falsehood, would be taken down and the user would be informed. Now, in this in no way doesn't affect freedom of speech, but which is just to cut down the misinformation that is going circulating around the world. Right. So it's very important that these guidelines are put in there. Um, WhatsApp had a lot of issues. We, we had certain countries that were trying to ban uh, WhatsApp just to curb this misinformation. She we have people that overdosed on some of these drugs right, based on hearing high-profile leaders keep but, on um, using them. We're time-pressed, so I'd like you to speak in 30 seconds if you can. She has threatened Facebook and others that her page should be restored. Does she have the right? In 30 seconds, please. So she has the right, but at, at the same time, um, the condition for reinstatement should be that she should watch the information that she is sharing because she's now, she has become a high-profile uh, user, and which is one of the things that social media is trying to cope. High-profile users circulating false information, which can have an impact on the general uh, population. All right, thank you very much, Ada, for joining us on the news. Thank you.